The Texas horned lizard is, is, is the state lizard. So everybody in Texas knows what a horned lizard is, although almost everybody calls them a horny toad. Uh, they're, they're not toads, they are lizards, but it, it's one of those arguments you just don't want to get into with people. It's a horny toad. It used to be present across most of the state and its population is, has dwindled to the point where we, we have a couple of good strong population centers, but they've pretty much disappeared from a lot of the country in between. We weren't here to see them disappear. We weren't paying attention, so we don't know exactly what happened. Part of what we're hoping is if we can put them back and figure out what challenges they're facing, maybe we can help them overcome those challenges by changing how we do habitat management or something else. So for several years now, we've been working on various techniques for reintroducing horned lizards. We started uh, working in cooperation with a couple of the zoos here in Texas, the, the Fort Worth Zoo and the Dallas Zoo, where they are doing some captive rearing of Texas horned lizards and providing us with the little hatchlings to reintroduce them instead of transporting the adults. Uh, the, the key to that is that we're able to introduce larger numbers of individuals. Last fall, we were able to, to move 132 little hatchling horn lizards here to Mason Mountain and turn them loose. And, and this year, we successfully overwintered some of those. To our knowledge, this is the first time that the captive reared ones have been released and successfully overwintered. He's right here. Wait, I see the tag. So all that's sticking out is the tag. He's still buried up in there. If he's not moving, uh, it's really, really difficult to see these guys. Uh, if he's up, sheltered, out of the sun, uh, underneath a little shrub or a uh, clump of grass or something, it's still darn near impossible to see them, even though you know he's right there in front of you. They shed their tags before they went into hibernation, so we had a little difficulty trying to find them again this spring. We're hoping to get those guys tagged again so we can start following them around as they, they start picking up life where they left off last fall. And then later on this year, we'll hopefully get uh, several hundred more new hatchlings from the zoos to, and introduce those as well and see if we can't help build that population up get more of them to successfully overwinter. Uh, eventually we're hoping that we can get some of them to the, the, the two and three year old range where they can reproduce on their own and maybe uh, have a self-sustaining population and we won't have to be transporting those guys and releasing them anymore.